great men and women of God in this place. Amen. Great soldiers. Amen. Those who love God and know that they've been called to do his bidding. Amen. Would you look at your name and say, I'm so glad you, you're here in the house of the Lord today. Just tell them and smile. I know you're wearing a mask, but you can still smile through the mask. Did y'all smile at each other? Amen. Did y'all? I know you did. I can mess with you. I know you smile. So glad you're here. Tell this young man, say, tell him, say, I'm so glad you're here today. You tell him, amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glad you're in the house today. Amen. Amen. It feels good. Amen. Giving honor to the Lord who is the head of my life. He is my life. He is my life. Without him, I am nothing. I am absolutely nothing without Christ. Amen. So I thank him for all that he is to me. Amen. I got saved when I was 18 years old. I got saved at, an, at a chaplain service in Great Lakes, Illinois. Cried like a baby. Went to the chaplain and said, Sir, I want to be saved. <laughs> and I've been saved for the rest of my life. God immediately took cursing away. Immediately. I used to curse like literally a sinner. Amen. The Lord, some of y'all can't, every time I tell that, these people start laughing. They just can't imagine that. I used to curse just because just it was fashionable. Hallelujah. And that's the first thing God took away. And God began to clean me up. Began to clean me up. I told my mama, I said, Mama, I want to find my own church. She said, okay, you go, page. And I went to a Holy Ghost, Pentecostal, tongue-talking church. And they, they put the fear of God in me, and they taught me holiness. Amen. And taught me the word. And God just kept growing me and moving me from place to place. Amen. And, and after, ooh, how many years is that? That's a lot of years. Since 18. <laughs> and I remember 50. Amen. I'm still saved. Amen. I'm still saved. Amen. Amen. Are you saved? Amen. If you're happy about it, just put your hands real together real quick. If you're happy that you're saved. Amen. Aren't you glad about your salvation? I wouldn't, wouldn't give anything in the world for it. Amen. It's too precious. Amen. Do want to acknowledge our, our minister of worship, Elder Ayers. Amen. Yes. For getting yes. us to this point. Yes. Amen. And I would also be remiss if I don't, if I don't do it now, if I want to thank God for my beautiful wife, Prophet Nadine. Yes. Amen. I do want to do that now. So that the record will reflect. Amen. And I have saluted her in the Lord. Amen. I truly thank God for her. Amen. 33 years. And I'm grateful for every year. Amen. Hallelujah. Would you turn with me to 1 John chapter 5, verses 9 through 11? We have our youth that's going to come later on, so please, please don't anyone leave. Amen. We have our youth that's going to come with a special presentation. Amen. The old saints used to say, one-eyed John. Anybody ever heard that before? Two-eyed John and three-eyed John. Yeah, yes. Some of y'all too young to know anything about that. So 1 John chapter 5, verse 9 through 11. I'm looking at the, our live stream director. Amen. I'm looking at him, so locking eyes with him so that I try to behave. Amen. He asked me to do certain things, and I do try my best. We'll see what the Lord does. Try my best. But stay still. Amen. I do my best. First John chapter 5, verse 9, and if you're reading along with us, if we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his Son. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son, and this is the record that God that given, hath given to us eternal life in this life. 
is in his son. And for a few minutes, I want to just talk on the thought and discuss the record is true. The record is true. You, you ever been on a phone call with a, uh, with a business or a company and it was discussing um, your account and, and before you can get into a, the conversation, they said this call may be monitored or recorded for for training. See, some of y'all know. For training purposes and quality assurance. Y'all do know why y'all do know why they do that, right? Uh, um, the reason why they do there's a number of reasons, but the main reason I want you all to, to be uh to be on the on the on the end. I want you to know what's going on. When they say that this call may be recorded or monitored, they're saying that if if ever there comes a dispute or disagreement about your account, that they have the tape recording to refer back to. So even if you say, I didn't say that, or I didn't mean that, the company or the business has the call recorded. And if it did go to court, it would be admissible. Yes. This call may be recorded or monitored for training purposes or quality assurance. And, and, then, and then you have people, and then if you haven't, I'm sure you all have experienced that, but have you, have you noticed when you look on, in our society, you see people who have questionable character, people whose lives are a little sketchy, people that you really can't put too much trust in and yet their word will be taken as gospel. They'll say something, they'll suggest something um, and, 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 they'll, and because of uh, some power that they have or because of some prestige that they have, their word is taken and considered and even acted upon and these people live, did I tell you, questionable lives. And yet, when they speak, people listen. Wow. Amen. They have no morals. They have no. They have no ethics. But because of some privilege or power they have, people listen to them. They're considered a good witness. And, and then, ha have you noticed in, in court cases, especially in criminal cases, in court cases when there's something had, bad has really happened, they call on expert witnesses. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that they call on an expert witness? They might call an expert who's good with forensics, who's good with data, or who's good with handwriting. And maybe someone forged a check, and they need to know whether this, this instrument or this check or, the, or that or that uh, or that uh, that pension check <laughs> was forged by somebody in the family. <laughs> if I'm stepping on your toes, I'm not trying to. Amen. <laughs> But they have experts who, are, who have studied in their field all their life. Yeah. And their testimony is admitted because they are expert witnesses. They know what they're talking about because they trained in that area of that discipline for many years. And yet with all of those examples I gave you, God says in his word, if you receive the witness of men, my witness, God says, is greater. If you take the witness of men as gospel, but let me tell you something, my witness is greater than men's witness. My testimony is greater than men's testimony. It is so strange that we act on every little word that, that our friends and family got to say. But when God speaks, we got to go on seven day consecrations. That's good, apostle. God says, my witness is greater. And then he says, and my witness, watch this, my witness is in my son. Look at that. My witness is in my son. My witness is the testimony of my son. 
For those who may not know, and, and I think it's in Matthew chapter 17, uh, uh, Jesus takes the, the inner three, uh, uh, James, John, and Peter, takes them on the Mount of Transfiguration, and then Jesus, is, his appearance is glorified, and then Elijah and Moses come, and they say, oh, Peter says, well, Peter wants to have a building program and build tabernacles, and God says, listen, this is my beloved son, and whom I'm well pleased, hear ye him. Can I help? Can I? Can I? Can I break it down? I know that's an easy scripture to understand, but let me break it down. Hear my son, because he always tells the truth. God's witness is greater than the witness of men because his testimony is in his son. He said, "Watch this in Hebrews." He says, "God, who at uh, various times and in different manners he spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, but he hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath the pet pointed heir of all things, and whom he have also made the world that we live in." Let there be that was Jesus, the incarnate Word, the Word becoming incarnate. Let there be light. That was Jesus creating everything. Let there be light and there was. Let there be and it that was Jesus creating the world. So when he speaks, things happen. Don't, don't raise your hand. I don't want you to, I don't want you to uh, uh, embarrass uh, the person who said it was going to do. Has anybody promised to do something for you and it's been five years and they still haven't done it? You still looking for it? I'm a, bro, when I see you, I'm going to do, girl, when I, the next, yeah, girl, I got you. That's how, and you said, and you, it's been 17 months, three days, two hours and 29 minutes. And you still looking for it. You don't got your hopes all high and you don't got all worked up. Did I tell you the witness of God is greater than the witness of men? Tell me you're going to do something for me. You ain't going to do it. When God speaks, he speaks truth. You accept the witness of men. My witness is greater. Because my testimony is in my son. Whew. Do y'all hear that? Watch this. Hebrews, can I, can I continue the verse in, in chapter 1? I want to show you something. Who being in the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins. Did y'all hear what he did? He took our sins away and then, you don't mind, and then he sat down. When Jesus said it is finished, it's a legal term. It means everything, anybody work in the legal field, when you sign on the line and you, and you dot every eye, and when Jesus finished dying for us, he sat down and said, it is you still wait on that, 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 that. You still wait on that something, something that somehow's going. You still wait on that duty bag, that duty purse. You still wait on that money. See, it ain't Jesus said what I did for us. I'm done. Because the testimony of God is greater than the testimony of men. This Jesus, this Jesus, he's, a, he's God's witness. Watch this. He's God's witness to mankind. Is he not? This Jesus is God's witness against all mankind. I, I, I want you to catch this. Je this Jesus, his witness, his testimony is a witness to all mankind and it's a witness against all mankind. I, I, I want you to know that Jesus' record is true. His testimony is reliable. Let me help you out. Jesus cannot lie or commit perjury against himself. He can't, God, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. God, Jesus cannot lie. He cannot, he cannot commit perjury. Because he is the truth. Look at someone and say, he's the truth. He's the truth. He's the truth. He's the truth. If you had, if you had, Lord have mercy. You don't mind. You know, if you had several pens, and I say, give me a pen. You can give me any pen out your birth, but I say, give me the red pen. 
He is not a truth. He's the truth. He is the truth. I am the way. It's only one way. He is the truth. It's only one truth. And he is the life. There's only one life. Life outside of Christ is no life. It's death. There is no other way but Jesus Christ. You're going to get lost. Tell somebody, you're going to get lost. Sometimes when we're traveling and we go, we go our familiar routes, you know, we go to somewhere we've always gone and, you know, I, I want to get a little adventurous. You know, I'm getting tired of just taking 75. And, I, and my wife said, where are you going this time? I said, I'm taking a do. She said, oh, Lord. She said, Lord, don't let us get lost. I said, we ain't going to get lost. I said, you got no faith in me. You always. I said, come on, just trust me. Let's take a detour. Let's take a scenic route. No, stay on 75. Because that's the way. Am I helping anybody today? You're going to get lost. Tell somebody, if you don't follow Jesus, I want you to say you're going to get lost. <laughs> oh, I, I promise you. You're going to get lost. And you're going to break down. Not only are you going to get lost, you're going to break down. And you're going to break down in a place you don't want to break down in. I feel, the, I feel the helper now. So you might well stay with Jesus. That way it's narrow and it's tight, but it'll get you to where you want to go. Did I tell you Jesus' record is true? His testimony is reliable. Watch this. He says... If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater for this is the witness of God which he have testified of his son. And verse 10 says, he that believeth on the son of God has the witness where? Ooh. Can, can you lean in a little bit? Lean in a little bit. Do you, do you realize that since Jesus is the son of God and he's God's witness, then those who are saved and born again you have the witness inside yourself. Watch this. We're finna do something. Ready? I want to give you a word. You ready? Are y'all ready? The word is amen. Can y'all handle that? I want to give y'all a word. The word is amen. <laughs> Can y'all handle that? Watch this. Jesus is God's witness, right? And then the word says that he, you also have the witness in himself. So that means Jesus is the first witness, right? Say wit, say amen. amen. And you also have the witness living on the inside of you. So now you say amen. amen. Now y'all gotta, gotta really say it like you mean it. Jesus is the first witness, right? He's the first witness of God, right? He's the witness of God that he testifies to the earth. So you all say what? Amen. And you also have the witness inside of you when you go to work, when you go to the, to the market. You also carry the witness in on the side of you. You're never by yourself. So your word is, so we get what? And we get, and we get, and we get. This is what I do. 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 Brother Reese, when I leave my house, this is what I do. When I leave my house, I turn the key in the cylinder, and I lock the door. Did y'all hear me? I put the key in the cylinder, and I turn the lock, the cylinder, and I can hear the door lock. I know the door is locked. The door is locked. But you know what I do? I, ch I pull on it. See, I ain't the only one. I pull on it just to make sure. Sometimes when you're by yourself, and, and the devil tries to come against you and you want to sin you are already sealed by the Holy Ghost but sometimes when the devil tries you God lets you know he said wait a minute boom boom he said you're me have you ever been driving and your hand go up that's the witness inside of you saying that you belong to me look at somebody and say Lord pull on me The Holy Ghost do a check every now and then say, yeah, you mine. Yeah, you're mine. 
Sometimes you just be doing it. You say, what's going on? That be the God. That's the, that's the, that's the check. You have the witness on the inside of you. I know my door was locked the first time, but I just got to. He pull on us. I know you, I know you want to. I know she. I know she fine. I know he fine. He bow legged. But you belong to God. Check, check. I know that drink look good. You gave up drinking a long time ago. You just feeling all. And you want to just touch. I just want a little taste. And the Holy Ghost say, check, check. I know I'm helping somebody today. You have the witness inside of you. You're the second witness. Did you, ever catch, did you catch that? You're the second witness. You're this amen. Everywhere you go, you got the witness inside of you. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, you got the witness. You ain't go, you're not there by yourself. You can go all the way to Jamaica. You have the witnesses with you. The witness is with you. Watch this. Romans 8 and 16, watch what it says. The Spirit himself bears witness with our, somebody knows the word, that we are who? The children of God. The Spirit of God bears witness with our spirit that we're the children of God. Can, can, I, can, I, can, I, share, can I share this verse with you? 1 Corinthians 1 and 6. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ that in everything ye are enriched by him. In all utterance, that means what you say, and in all knowledge, that's what you know. Watch this. Y'all with me? Even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. God needed a witness. Can he call on you? Anybody, anybody been summoned to court? You say, oh, man. But sometimes the Holy Ghost will summon you to spiritual court for you to be a witness for Christ you may testify against this world. See what Noah did when he was building art, he was testifying against a wicked world. What you doing, Noah? Building the ark. Why? It's going to rain. He's testifying. What is rain? You better repent. You better get your life right. Because one day it's going to rain. And the next day, he got some more nails and he got some more wood. He was testifying for 120 years. You know what your job is? Let me help you. I'm going to make you mad. Your job is not to be friends with the world. Your job is to testify against the world. When you don't sleep around and you don't, you don't, uh, do stuff on TikTok videos and when you don't steal and when you don't cheat on your exams, hallelujah, so you can get in the best colleges, when you don't lie on your taxes, you are testifying against a wicked world. Look at somebody say, I got the witness inside of me and sometimes he, don't, he won't leave me alone. testimony of God is great and the testimony of men the more witnesses the more effective the testimony that's why the, the, Bible, the Bible says in 127 that the man who has many children says his quiver is full of arrows because then he can speak to the elders at the gate because having children back then meant that when you go to the gate and speak on affairs and speak on things of life 
the more children you have, the more reliable witnesses you have to attest to, attest to your character. So the man, the father who had many children, he has 12, 13 children, has 12, 13 witnesses to say, my dad is a good dad. He's a good man. So in the natural, why wouldn't it be the same in the spirit? Why would God want many of his children, all of his children, to be witnesses? God is moving this sermon and I feel you, Holy Ghost. Yes, you want me to stay on the witness part. We don't have enough. We have church goers. We don't have witnesses. Let me help you out. Before you shout, witness means martyr in the Greek. It means willing to die. We got a lot, a lot of people who like to come to church and bump and get their groove on, but they're not willing to die for Christ. And they love not their lives unto the death. Overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their and the word of their is your testimony reliable. Do you say one thing and then behave another way? Did I tell you that the witness of God is greater than the witness of men? Lord have mercy. Would you, would you go with me again to, to 1 John chapter 5? And, and, and would you look at me with me at verse 10? He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. Yeah, we, we covered that pretty good. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar. A am I reading this right? Elder Ayers, am I reading this right? He that believeth not God hath made him a liar because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. My, my wife, she remembers this. Our, 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 our former pastor, our old pastor, on 7th Street. Hope y'all gotta listen. He would say, he would stand up in the pulpit and he'd say, lying does not send a person to hell. Cheating does not send a person to hell. Now by this time, he got my, he got my full attention. <laughs> I mean, I, I wasn't even a minister then. I'm like, Pastor, what you talking about? He would say, fornicating does not send a person to hell. I said, now come on, Pastor, come on, Pastor. Backbiting does not send a person to hell. Uh, unforgiveness does not send a person to hell. Now, some of y'all are looking at me like I was looking at my pastor. <laughs> y'all looking at me, what are you talking about? And he's right. You know what sends people to hell? Unbelief. You know why people lie? They don't believe the record that God wrote. You know why people cheat? You know why people cheat? It's real simple. They don't believe the record that God wrote. You know why people fornicate? Have, have sex outside of the covenant of marriage? You know why? Because they don't believe the record that God gave. You know why people backbite and gossip? <laughs> Like that's like that's a sin that God just gonna overlook, Amen, and just gonna give you a, a pass, gonna give you a pass by, and let still let you go into heaven. You know why don't they gossip and backbite and talk about people because they don't believe the record that God gave. And you know why people hold on to offenses and will not forgive because they don't believe the record that God gave. For if they believe what God said, they wouldn't do what they do. You're shocked because it's all killing and you're shocked because babies are being murdered and you're shocked because there's home invasion. Well, what do you expect? They don't believe God. They don't believe the record that God gave. So they do what they do. 
They don't believe it's wrong to kidnap another human being. They don't believe that it's wrong to kill a baby inside the mother's womb. They don't, God help me today, they don't believe the record. This, this is what Charles Spurgeon said. If you don't know who Charles Spurgeon is, he's one of the greatest preachers to ever live this and walk on this earth. This is what he said, and I want to quote him directly. He says, what if one says, well, I want to believe, but I can't. Spurgeon said that he would walk up to them and say, oh, listen, you unbeliever. What you are really saying is, I cannot believe. But you would be more honest. You would be a more honest person if you just went ahead and said, I will not believe. Watch this. For your unbelief is your fault, not your misfortune. Nobody will be able to stand before God and say, I couldn't believe because I was born on the wrong side of the track. Or I couldn't believe because I was born into a poor family. Or I, was, I couldn't believe because I'm black. Or I'm, I'm this or that. It, unbelief will be your fault. Because the record is true. You get emails all day, don't you? Is there any reason for you not to believe what's inside an email from someone who does not even profess to be saved? And yet, this record. People say, I want to believe. Oh, I really want to believe, but I just, I just don't know. I have so many questions about God. You don't want to believe. You don't want to believe. You believe everything else. You don't, you don't, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you that you, I'm going to show you that you have the capacity to believe. You just don't want to believe. None of you check your car underneath. Amen. You don't look for a little bombs underneath your car. None of you check the weight of the chair before you sit down. Oh, I don't, know, I don't know about this chair. I don't know if this chair can hold me up. You just plop down in it. You don't check the wiring underneath your car. You just put the key in and you just turn. And you do it all the time. So you don't, you don't want to believe. Unbelief is your fault. It's not your misfortune. Poverty is your misfortune, but unbelief is your fault. Can, can I use you? Is all right? Can you, right there? Can, can you stand by me? I'm, I'm going to show you something. I want everyone to be me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be you. Okay? I'm going to be you. Y'all got it? This, this is a lifelong acquaintance. Lifelong acquaintance. Hey, man. How you doing? Long time no see, man. You doing good? Life treat me good. Ask me how life treat me. Man, life treat me good. Man, by the way, man. Hey, man, I'm married. Married to this beautiful lady named Nadine. I got two sons. And I got two granddaughters. Man, I'm doing good. Now, I want you to tell me that you don't believe. No, I don't believe that. Now, watch this. Now, how, how would you feel right then? Just right there. How would you feel like? I just told him, like, like, okay. See, 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 see. She's taking that thing personal. Yeah. We're like, well, what's up with that? <laughs> I told him, Mayor, I told him, I got, I got two sons. And he, he, he said, man, I don't believe you. Now, some of y'all are real offended. So the best thing is going to be all right. <laughs> it's going to be fine. It's just a demonstration. <laughs> she upset. <laughs> now, I'm going to take it further. I never could believe you. Never could believe you. So all, all the time that you've been doing this, it was a little different back then. Now he just said, the whole time I've been knowing you, I've had a problem believing you. Now somebody really want to fight right now. <laughs> Don't you? You want to fight? Now switch places with God. Switch places with God. Switch places with God. Switch places with God. Switch places with God right now. For all your life, you can't trust God. 
Your whole life, you can't, you, God, I just can't, I just, I, mean, I just can't trust, I never did trust you. And there's the record. There's the record. Good God Almighty. He just said he never, ever believed in me. He can't bring himself to trust me. He can't believe a word that come out of my mouth. Switch places with God. Switch places with God right now. You make him, can I say it? Because it's in the word. You make him a liar. That's what he did. It's an example. I love this, bro. But that's what he said. Man, he ain't got no wife. He ain't got no children. He ain't got no... She got hot as grease. And she wasn't even in the demonstration. Thank God I didn't use her. Switch places with God. Switch places with God. Switch. I know. I know. He knows. He knows what happened when you was a little girl. He knows what happened when you was a little boy. He knows it. You can trust him though. You can trust God. Everybody's carrying some type of baggage. Some type of trauma. You make God a liar. To have the capacity to believe and say, you know what? I don't care what you say. I don't want to believe. I'm going to walk in unbelief. You make God a liar. And you're saying that his record, you're saying his record is not true. Oh, God, you have preserved your word. Ain't that what he said? You have preserved your word forever. People have trust issues with God, but it has nothing to do with God. Because unbelief is your fault. It's not your misfortune. As I said, you're my witness, except the Lord, and you're my servant whom I've chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no God for him. Neither shall there be after me. Crucifixions take a long time. Take a long time. Men, men sometimes live for days. And so the Romans say, you know what? It's taking too long to crucify these people. So they, they thought of a way. They say, I know what we'll do. We'll break their legs. So when we break the legs, they don't have the strength to pull themselves up and keep on breathing. So during Jesus' crucifixion, he was, he was crucified between two thieves. And so they go to the first thief and they break his legs. And they go to the second thief. And they break his legs. Then they come up to Jesus. And oh God, pray for me. And they're getting ready to break his legs. But he was all ready dead. And one of the Roman soldiers took a spear and stuck it in his side, pierced him in his side, and out came blood and water. And the word of God says, and he that saw it bear record. And his record is true. Everybody who saw it knew that this man was in the room. What's this? And he saw that it bear record, and his record is true, and he knoweth it that he saith it. True. King James, can I break it down in modern English? And he was telling the truth that you and I might believe. And the Roman centurion, 
he saw that thing and he said, truly, this man was the son of God because he saw the record. Because he saw the record. You have reliable testimony laying on your lap. These are not just words. They're spirit and life. Spirit and life. When you read them, something transforms you. Don't they? Something ha- when a man or woman reads the word of God, something happens to them. This word will make a cheating man into a faithful husband. This word will turn a prostitute into a missionary. This word will turn a drug addict into an apostle. It will turn a gangbanger into a man of love and forgiveness. You got to believe the record is true. You got to believe the record is true because it is true. She said, my record is true. I bear a record of myself. He said, I bear a record of myself. And he said, and if you don't like that, in case you won't take my testimony, he said, me and my father, my father also bears a record. I know you have a problem with me, but you can't have a problem with my father. My father bears a record. And he says, because your law says that out of the testimony of two men, let every word be established. Can you say it one more time? can stand in the house of God. God's testimony is true. Can, can I, it's dangerous being transparent, but I'm going to be transparent. You know how many times I wanted to just, just do what I want to do? And then I read God's word. <laughs> whatsoever is lovely, whatsoever is good report, whatsoever is virtuous. What's some things are honest, what's some things are just, and the being the virgin, and the being the praise. Think on these things, and there's a mind shift. Somebody cuts me off in traffic, and then the word of the Lord says, Be angry and sin. Your, keep your finger back down. Put it back. Keep, st- st- stop doing it. I don't know why I had to tell somebody that. Just stop doing that. You're a child of God. Stop doing that. S- stop letting people take you out of your character. I ain't cursed in two. No, you shouldn't be cursing at all. When Tommy be having them people on the radio show cursing, I'm like, uh, I don't think they saved anyway. I'm sorry. You're not saved. Cursing like that. I'm sorry. And I will write Tommy and tell him that. They can't be saved cursing like that. If you have your word, lift it up. It's God's record. It's testimony. Would you pray with this prayer with me, Lord? I thank you for the record. It's your record. This record is reliable and it's true. Lord, 
I want your record to live on the inside of me. And I want to be, starting right now, I want to be your witness. I want to be your witness in the earth and testify of you. I give you praise and I give you honor that your record is true. Can someone give God a praise for that? If you receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. If you want the witness of God in your life, which is the Son, and you have given us eternal life, the last verse says, which is in his Son. If you want eternal life, if you believe the record this morning, would you come, come, come up with where I am, come up to the front. Don't feel embarrassed. This could be the greatest moment of your life. This could be the greatest moment of your life. You need to come now and believe this record. Hallelujah. Elders and ministers, would y'all just begin to pray, begin to pray for the hearts of God's people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come. One, one is coming. God bless you. God bless you. One is coming. If you believe the record is true, will you come? Gentlemen, the record is true. Sister, the record is true. Prophet, the record is true. Glory to be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We're waiting. We're waiting for a few more minutes for you to come. We'll wait on you. God's been waiting on you. So if God's been waiting on you, we surely can wait on you. Why don't you come? The record is true. His testimony is reliable. His testimony. There's another. There's another. His testimony is reliable. Hallelujah. Come on up. Come on up. Here, man. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Will there be another? Don't, don't be embarrassed. Don't worry about what people are going to say about you. That doesn't matter. Hallelujah. We want you to have the witness on the inside. Hallelujah. I want you to just be a church goer or a church member. I want you to be a son of God. A son of God. Hallelujah. Would you anoint them?
guess what he wants? He wants fellowship and relationship with you, Christian. Do you want a relationship with him? Lift your hands. Close your hands. Put your hands. Father God, thank you now for Christian. I pray for him right now. Thank God that you will receive him now as your son. Thank him for forsaking sin. Thank him for repenting of every sin that he's ever committed. I thank you now for the ministry of the Holy Spirit that will now take control of his life. Thank you, Father God, as he confess his sins. That God, you will open up his heart to him, oh God. And that God, you will come in and serve with him, God. Thank you that you are the righteous one. You are, you are the one, oh God, who have been appointed unto to the wrath of God. And you have taken our and Christian place. That we believe on your record that your record is true. And that God, and who, and as Elder Air said earlier, that those who are an enemy of God can now be called a friend of God. And I think you now that Christian will become a friend of God. Would you repeat after me, dear Lord Jesus? I thank you now for dying for me. I repent of every sin and every mistake I've ever made. I'm sorry, God. And I ask you now to cleanse me, purify me, save me, adopt me as your son. I want to live for you for the rest of my life and serve you and only you. I turn from everything that is not like you and I look towards you. Thank you for saving me. I praise you and I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, you're saved. Amen. Won't you give the Lord a praise? Amen. Amen. You believe it? It's belief. It's, do you believe it? believe. It's not, a, it's not a feeling. It's not a goosebumps. It's just a belief. And you walk in there. You're no longer you're no longer a sinner. You are a son of God. And you walk in that sonship. And he has given the spirit of his son in, inside of us. We can call our Father. So you get in your word. Do you have a Bible? Do you have a Bible? We need to get him a Bible. Can you get his information? And get him a good Bible. Elder Ayers is a very trustworthy man. I trust him trust him with my life. He's going to get you information. We're going to get you a Bible. And I want you to read that word. Eat the whole roll, man of God. Okay? And you live for local. You're local. You're local. You live for, you live for local. Okay. You have a church home? Do you have a church home? Who did you come from? Who oh, is your home? Oh, that's you. Okay, praise God. Okay. okay, then. So, okay, then. All right, well, your mom will, the Lord will lead your mom to where you all are supposed to go. But your job is to get in that word and pray and ask the Lord to teach you and give you his spirit. Okay? And we love you. Is it okay if Elder Eris gets this information? Is that okay, mom? Okay. Okay. Elder Eris, how you doing, my sister? Praise God. You ready to believe the record? It's true, isn't it? It's true. You want to be saved? Will you lift your hands to the Lord? What's your name? Shanita. Say, Lord, here I am. You know everything about me. Lord, I thank you that you have given your life just for me. You had me on your mind when you was dying on that cross. And I thank you. I don't want to be the same. I want to be changed from the inside out. I repent of every sin and I'm sorry for every mistake that I've ever done. And I ask you now to receive me as your daughter. I thank you now that you are saving me and rescuing me from the kingdom of darkness. And you have brought me into the kingdom of light. For the rest of my life, I will serve you and only you. I love you and I thank you. In Jesus' name, you're saved. Amen. How you feel? How you feel? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Somebody thank God for. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. A broken heart and a contrite spirit. God will not despise such a one. 
Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, let him have his way. Let him have his way. Let him have his way. That's it. That's it. That's it, daughter. That's it. Somebody thank God for these two young people. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tell somebody, say, I believe the record is true. Woo! Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! God, we thank you today. Lord, we thank you today. Woo! Lord, we thank you today. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. She's ready. She's been waiting for this moment for a long time. She's been waiting for this moment for a long time. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, God. You've been, your thirst has been quenched and your hunger has been satisfied. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you live close by here? Praise God. You have a church home? Okay, you have a church. Okay, then. Praise God. Is it a Bible teaching church? Is it teaching Christ? Amen. All right, then. Praise God. Well, we're going to send you back. Amen. You're going to be a brand new creature when you get back there. Yeah, they, they're going to have a worker. Okay. Why did you say okay you can check us out I don't have a problem with you checking us out making sure we legit okay we make sure we real we we open we honest and then let the Lord deal with you okay but I can tell you and I know I'm biased this is a good church you see all these young people you see all these young people in here you see all these young people you will fit right in you will fit right in <laughs> Woo, yeah you you are a mighty warrior in the spirit too yes you are Ooh, you've been through some things, but God is finna. He, yo, yo, you, you got a new name. I'm finna give her a new name. Your new name is Victory. Her new name is Victory. Turn me up, son. Turn me up. Turn me up. I said your new name is Victory. Yes, God. This is my wife. She is full of the Holy Ghost. You can trust her. You give her information to her, only her, and she's going to keep in touch with you. Come here every chance you get and get up under this anointing. Amen. And let God transform your life. He did it for all of us. Did he do it for you, Jamie? Did he do it for you? Did he do it for you? He changed our life. He changed our life. Hallelujah. Aaron, don't want to change your life? You, you got to hear her story. <laughs> That you'll, you'll start running because he's an amazing God. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. We Come on, let's thank the Lord today. Woo! Glory be to God. The record is true. It's true. We pray that you believe the record of the Lord because his record is true. He has reliable testimony because he is the truth in Jesus' name. We're praying for you. We'll see you soon real again. Happy Resurrection Sunday to each and every one of you. We love you. Hallelujah. God bless you.